Hey there, YouTubers. It's Interactive White Box here, and I'm with uh, my next episode for the Horizon level that I'm building. So I haven't touched this in a while, so I'm going to try to kind of get a head start on something. Um, I do remember that we have been kind of focusing on this Osram village, and we've done a lot of work with filling out this area. But we haven't really touched a lot of these outside areas as much. So that's something that uh, I think this episode I'm going to try to kind of figure out and, and try to plan ahead and, and whatnot. So we have kind of this over here. We have this thunder jaw. And uh, as you can see, it's right in the middle of this area, which is nice. And then if you remember, I have this kind of... 14 second roll thing with these circles over here that I'm trying to kind of place in certain areas So I'm gonna kind of move this to the side on my other monitor here and hopefully use that as kind of a general guide for Where to take this this uh, this level? But as you can see here, we have worked a lot on this uh, Osaram village and we've really worked to build out um, kind of the middle of this. So I might stay, take a, a step back from working on this and try to kind of figure out what we can do kind of over here in this area. I think that's kind of a, a nice uh, way to expand on the, the map and stuff. So, um, to, kind of to, to start out, I'm going to go into, what am I going to select? Because what I want to do is I want to pick up like uh, this tent and I'm going to duplicate this and I want to just kind of uh, put something kind of on the outskirts here, kind of like uh, an outside camp. So I'm going to kind of just start with that for now and try to just come up with something. So I kind of like this area. It's, you know, kind of to the side uh, a bit. So I might put something here. And again, this is uh, an area that you can put in NPCs that are kind of going about their day and whatnot. And uh, I might also put... Is this a group here? I don't think this is a group, but this would be kind of a nice, um, a nice thing to turn into a group. And again, I haven't touched this in some time, so uh, if I'm having to kind of stop and, and relearn how to do some things, uh, bear with me. But trying to get back into the the swing of things, so hopefully uh, it's not too bad. Um, I'm also missing this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn this into a group and then I can duplicate this and then just, uh, you know, move everything. And for this, I might, um, I'm kind of eyeing this area right here. Again, it's kind of the same as what is over here uh, in this area, but I think we can live with reusing some some different uh, assets and whatnot. And again, like in an in an actual scenario, uh, this wouldn't probably be final like assets. But as a level designer, you want to kind of get a, a sense of space and you know make sure that you're not kind of stepping on. The toes of, of any one element. So I think this is kind of a, a nice little area. I do kind of like the idea of keeping this a little bit more open, um, but we will want to kind of focus on I think the paths here. So let me go into I think it's the landscape. So I'm gonna go into the landscape and I'm gonna go into the paint. And then um, we will select dirt and hopefully 
all this will come up. But we'll kind of build, we'll start really like building paths and whatnot and, oh yeah, there it is. We're gonna kind of build some path paths here and, and whatnot. Um, I do kind of like this, I do kind of like this area being a little bit more kind of like lived in. So I'm gonna just kind of put uh, like some dirt underneath here. I'm not gonna worry too much about the tent since we can't really like go inside it, but I am gonna kind of have some, I am gonna have some dirt kind of just around here. And then, again, like, I don't know if I really want to have, like, all of this, um, completely dirt. Uh, I might try to keep some, like, green spots here and there and whatnot. And again, like, just kind of look at it and, and just make sure it, it makes a lot of sense. So we have... I have a few things to think about, so let me kind of go up from a bird's eye and take a look at what we currently have. So, um, we kind of have this area right here, and then remember we have that Osaram camp. Um, and again, like these kind of look, this kind of has uh, different things. So like out here, um, we have... Uh, something that we can do with and what I kind of like about this area is maybe it's a smaller camp uh, I know in the horizon games there are campfires that you can activate and those will allow your uh, player to save the game so we might start kind of thinking about those types of uh, areas now that we're kind of expanding out from kind of a central area. Of course, we'll want to put in, uh, you know, a fire camp um, probably within the town. And since there's, since I'm thinking about putting one maybe up here, uh, I might put one closer to maybe like right here, closer to the docks. So, you know, there is some, there's some, you know, space between fireplace, uh, fire pit areas, uh, so you don't get like overwhelmed. And kind of the thing that I like about this too is, um, we have a few different options. So, you know, we kind of have this plateau and we have this up here, which um, this will kind of be a, a general area that I think, um, you know, we'll kind of keep this open. And um, we have to really think, and, and we don't have any, like, pathing or anything here. And we might eventually maybe move this, because uh, it is kind of close to the village. And I don't know if I really like that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to change things up a bit. So, um... I'm gonna go to my Photoshop, uh, and I'm actually gonna probably just bring it over here. But um, we have this, you know, we have this map right here, and I'm not sure if I want this. Let me see if, uh, okay. Ten second example. I'm just trying to figure out like, okay, so it's this whole thing that um, I have. So we have this. Do we need a, I wonder if I need to like copy everything. Hold on. I haven't touched this in some time, so I don't, okay. So we have this. Um, I kind of want to see if we can maybe move this up here. And again, um, well, if you take a look, uh, you see that, you know, these circles are kind of on the edge of whatever we're wanting. So if we do move this, um, we might move it like up here to where uh, this is kind of up top and we can also kind of connect this synergy and maybe we can 
keep these kind of open. Uh, so again, uh, if you remember, these kind of go to the edge of something else. And of course, like this area is, is different from this area. And we're not, I'm not really concerned about, I'm not really concerned about like bridging these two points together. I don't think that's really necessary, uh, but um, I think with this, we can really play around with, um, you know, space and whatnot. And maybe um, if we have this up here, uh, we can kind of create maybe a path here and maybe, um, maybe the player will just be kind of more um, open to going there. But yeah, I don't know. We'll have to kind of play around with it. But let's, uh, let's put that thunder jaw up near that area. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back to the select mode and I'm going to try to select everything I can that's here. I think that's a portal. Um, I have this. I don't think I don't think I, I think I'll have, I think I have to move that. Yeah, I think I have to move that. So um, I'm gonna do that the last. But we have all of these little things. So I'm gonna try to eyeball this. Um, again, it might help to speed up my camera speed. So I'm gonna move this probably closer to I think this right here might be the area to do it in and we might have to update this because of course uh, we've made a lot of changes to the overall map and um, we might have to uh, do some other stuff so We'll play around with that, but I don't know. I really wanted to. I really wanted to have this somewhere that um, is not so close to the village. But I'm I'm okay with this. So now, with that in mind, it's like, well, what are we gonna do with um, these areas? Um, we can, you know, we can uh, add more stuff to this area but i want to kind of keep things maybe add a few little areas so what i might do is um take one of these i just want to try to figure out what is what because i think i think that that and that Oh no, there's another village entrance. Um, actually, I'll take that and then I'll take that. I'll just copy and then I'm gonna, I'm thinking about placing something right here. Uh, I don't know if we have anything in that spot, but that looks kind of interesting. So we do have this little area. I'm not entirely sure if we can like smooth this out, but maybe we can have just a little area here. Or we can actually incorporate this whole entire area. Again, things have moved around, so um, I'm not entirely sure, but we can definitely take a look at different things. Yeah, you see? Well, no. That's kind of where they were there as well. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, just copy one of these. And I'm just going to move that over this area so I can kind of mark it. And then... I'm thinking for this area, we could have maybe like an area where you can fight another faction. So we've kind of have some spots where we're fighting robot dinosaurs 
And those are great. Um, we're gonna have to probably add a lot more of those areas and really think about like the player going and, and using the environment and stuff. So that's something that we'll eventually need to kind of uh, address in certain areas. But um, I think this might be an area where um, an actual faction has, um, you know, took, took it up residence and stuff. Uh, so we might have something like that right here. I think that would be a really interesting area. And then um, out here as well. So um, if we, we have the same layers. If we copy that, uh, maybe we can have, instead of placing something right there, um, I might place, hmm. I might place one right there. And this might be an area for machines to, to roam, just a, an area, a field or something. And then um, we'll copy and then we'll, oh, we won't do that because I don't, there we go. We will place, maybe we place like a watchtower or something. I kind of like this area because it's right next to, um, it's kind of right next to this, this hill side. And I kind of like the idea of there being like maybe a, a, a kind of a, a bit of a watchtower or something that people can, uh, the Osiram can kind of look out and, and keep an eye out. So in the document here, I'm going to make some uh, notes so right here, I'm gonna have this be Osiram Watchtower. That is definitely the other way around. <laughs> Osiram Watchtower. So I'll have that there. And then I will also place this. And this will be a what are they called in, um, trying to remember what they're called, like what different bandits and stuff are called in, um, the Horizon games. I think in Horizon Zero Dawn, they were called, uh, Red Devils? I think? I'll have to look. There's something Devils, I, cause they were, um... Let me just look up like bandit, bandit camps. I guess we don't really have to like do something specifically like name wise. We can just type out ban bandit camp, but I kind of like, um, I just want to refresh my mind. It's been a while since I've played uh, Horizon, especially Zero Dawn. I played Forbidden West um a while ago when it came out so it has been a, a pretty good amount of time but yeah i'm just seeing bandit camp so i'm just gonna for the sake of time and uh i'm just gonna do that so bandit camp i think that's fine and i also think instead of um you know going off of something um, I do remember, and if you remember too, um, I have different activities and such. So uh, let me actually duplicate this tab. But if you remember from my planning board, and I'll pull that up right here, we have different we have different um, activities. So we have the machine hunts. Which the, the Thunder Jaw is, is this right here. We have PVP Traversal Challenges, which are going to be um, kind of like a PVP race. You're uh, like competing 
against other players and you're traversing and there, there could be like different things. I think that's going to be a little bit more in depth and, and hard to implement unless I can incorporate some sort of like climbing system, which again, I mean, I, I would love to figure out how to like implement something like that, uh, but that might be something that we can only uh, like probably deal with um, long term because uh, I don't have any like a uh, traversal system in place. But that's something I can uh, add to kind of the docket here and, and work kind of on my own and then come back to once I have something like that. But I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then we have PVE cauldron raids, which I kind of, I kind of like, I would like to really uh, explore building a cauldron because it's going to be, if you never played Horizon before, cauldron are these little dungeons that um, all the machines are, are built with. So, you know, you have these cauldrons spread out through the first two games and they have some really cool traversal challenges and combat challenges. And I think it'd be really interesting to like build something out like that. Uh, and of course, like I'd have to build out an entrance in the real world. And then I might have to look into like connecting this map to a different scene that's going to be like an indoor thing so of course i'm gonna have to really like play around with that but that's something i could do um we can look at placing one of these as a cauldron but since this is kind of like a beginning area i don't know if i want to necessarily have a, a cauldron exactly right next to thing um Maybe not too far, because uh, of course, I think it'd be kind of cool to have a player like stumble across a giant cauldron. And, and if, especially if this is the first Horizon game that they're playing, um, really give them a sense of like, oh, wh wh what's that? And, and have them go off to the side and, and check it out. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if it's a bad idea to, to put that, but um, you know, if they go up to it and it's like, you know, gives them a little warning or, you know, has like a little thing on the map of like, hey, you know, recommended level, you know, 50, if that's the end game, uh, you know, has it locked out and stuff. So, I don't know, like there's a balance of presenting content to the player that they can go back to once they have everything done. But I don't really think MMOs do that. Uh, I mean, MMOs are pretty good at um, sectioning out different areas for players uh, within their like levels. So I don't know if that's really the answer that we're looking for, but it is something to kind of think about. And then we have a PvP resource skirmish, which can be kind of a interesting thing um, I don't know if that's something that we want to put in the open world, um, but we can have that somewhat. Um, then we have relic hunts, which are really great for uh, another type of content that uh, people have to just, I don't know. Uh, what did I type here? Uh, searching for more data from the ancestors. A Quinn researcher believes a rare relic lies below an underground bunker guarded by a tide ripper. So again, um, that might be more of like a, a dungeon type of thing, like a cauldron, but um, you know, you're in a group with a team and you kind of go into a ruin or something and you try to find a very valuable relic and there's just different areas and, and puzzles and stuff that you know you and your your friends have to do so again that might be something where we need like an extra area for and then like with pvp combat i think as well as kind of a thing that is an instanced thing so in this context of the game um you know that would be probably a separate thing uh aside from this map so I don't know if we can do that. You could take a part of the overall map and you know make it into a PVP area, um, but I don't think we want to really work on on that. 
Um, the resource skirmish, though, uh, uh, Osaron Blacksmiths in the settlement are having a hard time finding a volcanic steel. Uh, compete against a team to find the precious metal. So that might be kind of something like relic hunts, I guess, but it's more of just like, I mean, I don't know, like, these are kind of vague enough where like a, this could just be a pvp combat and you know when we're thinking about different missions and stuff especially for like an mmo multiplayer style game um i feel like if there's gonna be different types of activities they need to be kind of different from one another uh, and a lot of these i think kind of go well with like creating a separate like arena or, or level space uh, that's kind of not in this general map, if that makes sense. So again, um, I just wanted to kind of refresh myself with the uh, type of uh, activities that we're doing. Um, again, I tried to make it pretty, um, pretty different, but yeah, I don't know. Um, and it's kind of hard to really do some of these like traversal challenges and the cauldrons without a uh, without a proper um, traversal system in place. So we might have to kind of come back to the drawing board on that one. But um, I think with with this, we might you know I, I like the I like the bandit camp and. Um, I think right here, um, you might just have this be a save fireplace or campfire. I saw like that campfire. So those are usually like little bonfires or something like that. So, and this, yeah. And let me, um, let me name this over here. So I think this is gonna be a machine field. And of course, um, I only have like the uh, watcher, I think they're watchers, and the Thunderjaw kind of uh, modeled. So they're just kind of models, but we can just put watchers there for now and uh, you know, figure out, figure out what that's going to look like. So I'm going to take one of these again. I'm going to duplicate and I'm just going to place this over and kind of just make sure it lines up a, a, a bit. Um, I might move this over here. Again, this is kind of just approx approximate kind of areas just for me to know like where exactly things are um kind of based off the the map that i'm creating so we are going to oh and we need to make a, a little thing here for the watchtower because that's gonna be right over here about um, I actually move this closer to here. Cool. And then um, we have, let me see if I can select, select this. So if we look at this teleporter, we have um, an arrow. Is that where the, is the arrow where we go? Let me, um, Let me just move this and see if uh, I go into the right area because I want to make sure that it does it. So again, I'm just kind of trying to move things around. I'm trying to make sure that everything is good to go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and test this. Oh, oh, she. she. 
already start because I don't want to start all the way there. I don't want to like mess anything up. So I'm just going to spawn in right here. There's not like a, it's not like an area, a start area or anything. We're just going to go ahead and uh, go over here. I'm going to uh, just walk around, take a look at things, make sure that, you know, scale wise things look uh, decent and well. Which, uh, again, I'm, I can't complain. I, I think things look really good. Um, some things I need to probably put, like, collisions, like, these areas. But... Okay, so, um... Interact? No. I don't want to interact with that guy. I think it's this guy right here. Okay, I'm gonna accept. I got my journal. I'm gonna have that be my active. Again, I just wanna test uh, the teleportation, make sure it, it's gonna go to the right place. Cause I can't remember if it was just the arrow. Um, if I just spawn at the arrow or if the arrow is indicative of another like variable or something. So um, again, I'm just kind of trying to play with stuff uh and this could be like an area where i can hide and whatnot so like i feel like these bush areas if i put on a lot of bushes these are gonna be areas where like you can hide into the grass and and stuff and i might put some more bushes like maybe like just one right here um just one that goes into here and it would be actually really cool to like eventually have these uh you know models follow a path and, and plan out the path and, and stuff. So it's another thing I can I can look into, but I've reached the hunter's camp. I talked to him to enter the queue and then um, once you enter the queue, yeah, uh, it follows the thunder jaw. So I'm out here and then I kill the thunder jaw. And then I pick up the thing, and there should be a teleporter object somewhere around here. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's here. Uh, we don't really need to test it though, because uh, we don't really need to test it because. Um, you teleported to the, the correct place, so I think that's good. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, we have that working really well. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Um, never hurts to save your project every now and again. Okay, so now um, we're gonna work on this uh, watchtower. Um, we're just gonna copy and, and paste this. Um, I guess this is a group, but we haven't, haven't copied everything. So I might uh, regroup, copy, so just place that. Just spin this around. I think that's fine. And just make this be a bit high. Yeah, I think it's kind of a nice little guard area. Uh, this could potentially kind of protect, um, you know, if, if they saw some trouble coming from like the, the camp here, they could uh, definitely see that. Um, I think this is kind of a nice little area for that and then we could have you know maybe a little fireplace here um not like an actual savable one but uh you know we can have just some people posted here uh, again we might have to go in and just take a look at like what keep looking at the environment and stuff and seeing what is uh what's available i'm gonna go into modeling though and what i'm gonna do is I'm going to create a cylinder. 
And I'm gonna slow down the camera speed. And what I'm gonna do with the cylinder is I'm gonna just kind of build a fire. So I'm gonna just place this right there since it's a relatively stable thing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move that down. I'm gonna hit accept. I'm just gonna move this right over here. And I'm just trying to build out. It's a little fire. So I'm gonna do another cylinder. I'm just gonna place this one on top of there. I'm gonna poly edit. And I'm going to make this a little bit skinnier, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit accept. I'm gonna move this up and I'm going to press R and I'm just gonna scale this out a little bit. I might even squish that a bit, squish that a bit. Um, I don't really remember what these fires look like um, but I'm just gonna kind of just play around with something so I'm gonna extrude this I'm just gonna keep it like that I'm gonna have that shrink in shoot it like this hit accept and then I'm gonna go ahead and make another cylinder. And what this cylinder is gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna hit accept, and I'm just gonna make this. Oh. Like that, and I'm just gonna try to create kind of a stand or something for this. And how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to just place this like that. I'm gonna go down to poly edit. And uh, let me see, how do I do this again? Yeah, just hit that. I'm gonna have that come out to there. I'm gonna select this shape here. I'm gonna put that into the ground. I just kind of create, um, just create something that makes sense. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this. I'm gonna duplicate. And then I'm just gonna turn this 90 degrees. I'm gonna duplicate these two. Turn them to 180. So I got that thing kind of going. And then uh, for the fire, I'm just gonna have a cone. <laughs> so. Uh, I can just kind of move this here. Um, can I move this out? Yeah, I can. So this might look kind of weird. Uh, I might have to go back and, and look at what this looks like. And I also might... I might also uh, come back here and then just make like little, little legs or something for this to kind of like stand on. I think that might look uh, much better. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm just kind of building 
just something that I think resembles um, oh, that's not what I want. We'll rotate, do it 90, and then we'll just place that where it needs to be. It looks really good, but I think what this is probably going to do is it's going to probably feel a bit big. So uh, just for scale's sake, I'm going to go into here. That's not too bad, but I do want it. I'm thinking of making this a, a bit more smaller. So I am going to go in and uh, rescale this. So I'm just selecting all these pieces. Um, and I could actually probably just group this together so I can place multiple ones. And it is kind of weird. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But I think what we could do is just make this kind of smaller. Actually, I don't know if I... I don't know. Let me see if that, like, helps. I'm not entirely sure, but maybe. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yep, yeah, I, I honestly think it works for what we're needing it for, so. This is going to be kind of an area where uh, you could, you know, of course, um, save the game and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and paint some dirt around here. Uh, just kind of maybe in a, a few spots. But I'm going to try to keep things kind of relatively not so, not so nice. I don't want to have, like, I want, I want dirt road, you know, I want, like, roads and stuff to be very, like, very apparent. And even here, I might go in and start to kind of paint a road here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, I'm going to paint a, uh, the road to kind of come through here, but I'm not going to lead it entirely to the uh, the fire pit right here itself. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to go back into the modeling and I'm thinking of putting um, some stuff so I might... Um, Put in just a cylinder. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna do this though. Complete it. And then what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just going to move this down here. Uh, I'm going to make this a bit smaller, but make it a little bit longer. I'm just gonna have like a tree trunk here. Um, I don't think that this is going to be something where the player can like actually sit on, but this could be kind of a neat little area to uh, sit down at. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to have a box. And again, uh, I'm just going to try to, well, I don't know if I want to make this. I'll just place it down there. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, I'm gonna make a little like sleeping bag. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm just going to uh, just make a little area here. And then uh, we can either like insert an edge loop, which might be the easiest uh, thing to do. Um, or we can like, um, we can like, uh, what do you call it? Um, extend. Uh, but I'm just going to create a, an edge loop right there. And then 
I'm gonna hit accept and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into here and then I'm just going to scale this uh, in a bit and I'm gonna just place that down and then I'm going to I'm put in, I'm gonna put in a few edge loops in here uh, this might kind of look weird kind of kind of looks like a grave or something uh, but that's not really what I want to aim for so uh, I'm gonna continue to I'm going to poly edit again I'm gonna select these three and I'm just going to uh, scale these in a bit and try to make kind of like a, a just a, a bag thing and then I'm going to select these three and I just want to move these down these down and then I might have this come up a little bit select this have that come up and there we go kind of like a, a sleeping bag sort of thing and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the landscape and I'm going to just make this dirt as much as possible uh, specifically in these two little areas I think that's fine uh, we also have some foliage here that uh, I want to get rid of so I'm gonna go into the foliage and I'm just going to go into the erase and hopefully this will work but um, or paint I thought I don't know. Oh, maybe you have to select everything. That would make sense. Okay, so I'm gonna just select everything. Uh, and then hopefully I can just bring this down a lot. And I just kind of get rid of some of these plants. Uh, again, I don't think it's too bad to keep some of these. And then um, I might go back in the landscape and just, just touch up on this. There we go, and we can kind of add some to this as well. But we kind of have some plan for what we're gonna do. Uh, we can really start to fill this out, uh, but I think I'm gonna end the video there. Again, I wanna keep these relatively short, um, a lot more shorter than some of my uh, previous episodes. But uh, again, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like uh, and subscribe for uh, other uh, videos when I release them. Uh, I'm trying to, I, I, I'd like to keep up with the videos. I do apologize if you are watching these and I just don't, um, I, I go months without uploading stuff and uh, yeah, it, it's just, I don't know, things are, things are going though and, and I'm trying to get back in the swing of things so I do appreciate um, your patience and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, uh, I am excited to do the next episode, and I think next episode uh, I am going to try to do other projects. Um, I, I like the Horizon map, and I want to continue with this, but there's some also there's some other projects that I would also like to continue and uh, document the process on those. So uh, that's something that I have in the books. So uh, you know, look out for that. Uh, they're going to be previous uh, projects. I'm not going to start anything new. I'm trying to trying to kind of like get back into all these projects that I've started and I haven't finished or anything so um yeah it's 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 a change in stuff uh so yeah hopefully you, you like the content and you come back and watch more but uh I'll uh, see you guys later have a great day bye